also recent vinyl pickups again uh i'm gonna start with some stuff that is actually connected to my uh previous recent vinyl pickups um i had this uh what was the the single that we got from iron maiden before that i showed sanctuary sanctuary yes from killers <clears throat> and the trooper and the trooper exactly so we got some more. We got some more. I, my voice was also cracking in the other one. <laughs> um, yes, we got some more Iron Maiden uh, singles. And so I'm going to start. We got three. I'm going to start with these two. There's uh, The Number of the Beast with Remember Tomorrow Live from Italy. And Two Minutes to Midnight with Rainbow's Gold. So... Yay! But that's not the best part. The best part is that in the other video, I mentioned how I really wanted the single that had the B-side reach out that is sung by Adrian Smith. And I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm so, not only that, but those two, they are reprints. This is an original, it's an original print. Like, I can't, like, this is, I, I was telling Steve earlier today, when I hold this in my hands, I feel like I'm traveling in time, which is very funny because, you know, somewhere in time, the album where this comes from is all about, you know, traveling in time. But yeah, the cover is so cool. We were looking at this and just like talking about how just how 80s it is and this is something i keep coming back to whenever i mention summer in time it's just 80s in its glory it's a, like it it's all over this it's so good i i i'm so happy this song reach out is like oh, i love it i'm so happy that we got this and that it's an original print like i i can there's 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 a weight of time in this little thing right here anyway i could go on and on and, okay, so now, also going back to a previous uh, vinyl vlog that I did, not the recent pickups, but the video game uh, vlog, video game soundtrack vinyls vlog that I did. Uh, I mentioned, well, first of all, there was the Resident Evil 2 soundtrack. Look what I picked up. Well, Steve picked it up for me, because he's awesome. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. This, uh, I mean, it, it's, it may still be my favorite of the classic Resident Evils. It, it's hard to tell. Um, uh, yeah, but anyway, it's like, there's a purple thing that the second one is all like very red. This one's all purple. It's, oh, I love this game so much. I love everything about it. I love the memories that it brings back to me every time I look at this horrendous face. It's just so it's loaded with memories and, and <clears throat> emotional significance for me. Love this. Love, love, love it. Very good quality uh, cover. It really, it's heavy. Yeah. Oh, super stoked. Kind of cool to note that that is actually put up by Capcom themselves. Oh, these? So Capcom has their own in-house uh, sound publishing, whereas a lot of the other video game vinyls are put out by like by third parties yeah like okay so, i didn't know that that so. is pretty sweet that is pretty sweet um now another one that i mentioned in the other video game soundtrack vinyls vlog was um a game that steve was playing at the time he's done now with that game but we mentioned that well i mentioned that we ordered the vinyl but it wasn't here yet by the time i i did that vlog so it is here now Ghosts of Tsushima, we got it, and it's so, it's a work of art, like, uh, as is the game, he really enjoyed it, by the way, it's a triptych, look at it, it's so big, almost doesn't fit, yeah, this is really, the, the game is glorious, stunning to look at, oh, this is, I did it wrong, uh, it's very, very scenic, very beautiful. 
graphics are amazing. The, the horse riding reminded me a little bit of Shadow of the Colossus because it's very cinematic. The way that the horseback riding uh, is, is integrated with the movement of the grass. Like, it, really beautiful. The, the soundtrack is really all. I mean, it's, it's, it's Japanese aesthetics from the samurai, from the shogunate eras. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. It's, it's just beautiful through and through. Uh, really cool stuff. The cover, like the art is very comic style which I appreciate. I like the black and white with the little bursts of red, which are also like, they have a different texture on the on the cover. Yeah, really cool. The vinyl cool. actually features two separate composers as well. Oh. Which is, is pretty awesome. Uh, there's a sweet series to close off the album. Um, it's three vinyls, it's amazing. It's really, really uh, delicious to listen to. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. As you see, like, it's a triptych and three vinyls, that's a lot. Uh, really worth your your money, I guess. Now, moving on to something different that we haven't mentioned before in any capacity. Well, not in these vlogs, but uh, we picked up a limited edition of Nightwish's Dark Passion Play, released in 2007. Um, this album was the first one with Annette, so it was the first time Nightwish uh, changed singers, right? Everyone was really looking forward to this and it's a fantastic album. It's very, you know, it's a long album, very powerful, very dark. And like I said, it's a limited edition and it's a blue with white swirl. Ooh, trippy. It's limited yeah. to a thousand copies, I believe. Limited to a thousand copies. Well, we have one. And it's pretty. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. What's your favorite uh, song on that? On this album? Yeah. Oh. Shit. Um, oh, The Islander. Why, why was I even... Like, did I actually stop to think about that? I have just offended myself. Like... It's falling into... Okay. You're gonna have to cut there? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Uh, the other one, while Steve fixes the microphone, I'm just gonna go ahead and show the other blue with a white swirl vinyl that we got. And this is Isan. I'll show you the cover. It's, it's just so pretty. Sorry, I want to show a little bit more. This side has more blue. So, so beautiful. Different, a different hue of blue from the Nightwish, and this is the cover. Pharaohs. It's very experimental, very unorthodox <laughs> melodies. It, it remind you know what this reminds me a little bit of. It reminds me of some uh, Brazilian popular music bands and artists that I can't really grab a name right now off the top of my head, but it, it reminds me of Brazilian popular music because, because of the odd scales and phrases. This album was put out um, as an EP as well as Telemark, which is a bit heavier. Um, this is definitely different than anything he's done. Uh, Spectre at the Feast, I think is the name of the, the, the single that caught my attention. It's Spectre? It's on the back. Spectre of the Feast or something? S Spectre at the Feast. It, uh, amazing. Oh, Definitely there's... Amazing. Okay. So th this is it, hey? There's just... It's short. Very short. Okay, so side A, Losing Altitude, Spectre at the Feast, and Pharaohs. That's it. And then side B, Rhodes, Manhattan Skyline. Nice. It's like... If this, if this, if vinyl uh, track lists worked as restaurant menus, you'd be sure this would be a quality restaurant or a quality <laughs> Because it's short and to the point. <laughs> I'm not married to a chef. Um, anyway, so... Here's another cool colored 
vinyl, but I'll show you the cover, the actual cover first, because this cover is my favorite heavy metal album cover of all time. And it's Death. The Sound of Perseverance. It was first released with a, a cover that was slightly different. The concept was the same, but the finishing was drastically less sophisticated than this one. This one has way more definition, but texture at the same time. If you look at the other one and compare, you'll see what I mean. Like, it has more definition as in the shapes are more well-defined, but the surfaces have way more texture. And it's... it... Ugh. I actually, you know, I'm, I'm a teaching assistant at the, the University of Alberta, and so I have Zoom discussion sessions with the students, uh, undergraduate students, and we were, I was teaching them how to do visual analysis, and I used this in the first week of class this semester. I used this cover for us to practice, and it was super productive, it was awesome. Um, yeah, I adore, adore this artwork. And it's featured in a book that is part of a three-book series called End Justice for Art by Ramon um, Oscuro Martos. And he's released num uh, volume one and volume two. Volume three is just coming up now. And I happen to be one of the executive producers of that book of the volume three. And there's a little, a little afterward written by yours truly in it. Uh, I will talk more about that coming up. Um, yeah, and oh yeah, I want to I wanna show you this because it's cool. The, this is the um, 20th anniversary... 20th? Yes. 20th, right? Anniversary edition of the... Let me see... 20th, yes. 20th anniversary edition of The Sound of Perseverance of the album. So they released this uh, green... It's a, it's a matcha green. I thought it was gonna be a vibrant, slightly more translucent uh, green. But it's not, it's like a matcha green and with some demo hairs. Anyway, it, it's really pretty. It's very opaque. Love it. I love this. I love the music in it. I love the cover. I love this particular edition because of the color. Uh, yeah. I'm super, like, this This was an album that I had to, like, I wanna, I wanna put this on my wall. It's so... I can't say it's pretty. It's better than pretty, you know? It's just a perfect visual representation of agony. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, oh yeah, and there's this one also I wanted to show. Speaking of Demu. Speaking of Demu, um, Demu is my, my dog, um, and she was named after Demu Borger. And this is a picture record. <laughs> it's the Serpentine Offering single, and it's just from an era of Demo that I gravitate towards the most. This one in Abrahadabra, and it's, it's a cute little thing. <laughs> For collectors, this is like, oh yeah. So you have the, like the, the Baphomet at the front, and the band in the back. It's pretty sweet. And the, the printing, like the, the actual image it's the the definition is amazing so i i get him i'm really impressed at times when i look at these vinyls that have pictures on them how the definition is great yeah you, you wouldn't really expect that yeah pretty cool pretty cool stuff um yeah these were my did i cover everything i covered everything these were my february january slash february recent vinyl pickups. This was my second recent vinyl pickups vlog. Uh, this is it. I will keep you posted and when we get more stuff, which we will because, you know, we uh, that's how we spend our money. We're very inspired right now with doing the channel. Yes, we, the vinyls and yeah, stuff. but it but we can't that's not an excuse. We've, yeah, <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've been spending a lot of money on vinyls for quite a while now, long before we I even start the channel. But anyway, um, I know that lots of you are vinyl enthusiasts and you have your own collections and you appreciate seeing what other people on the internets 
are doing with their own collections. So um, leave your comments, let me know if you have any of these, if you would like to know more about any of these, if you would like to get any. Um, yeah, let's chat about it in the comments and I'll see you later.